Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to Go Math Lesson 1.12, Algebra Grouping Symbols. Pause while you write the lesson number and title in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is evaluate numerical expressions with parentheses, brackets, and braces. Today we're going to start on page 51 in your Go Math book and we'll begin with the unlock the problem. Mary's weekly allowance is $8 and David's weekly allowance is $5. Every week they each spend $2 on lunch. Write a numerical expression to show how many weeks it will take them together to save enough money to buy a video game for $45. Let's look at the blue box so we get some clues about how to solve this problem. It says, underline Mary's weekly allowance and how much she spends. So Mary, Mary's weekly allowance is $8. And then it says, circle, oh, I forgot to underline how much Mary spends. Mary spends $2 each week on lunch. And then it says, circle David's weekly allowance and how much he spends. David's weekly allowance is $5, and he spends $2 also. Okay, now I think we're ready. It says, use parentheses and brackets to write an expression. It says, you can use parentheses and brackets to group operations that go together. Operations in parentheses and brackets are performed first. So we're going to go through this slowly. Step one says write an expression to represent how much Mary and David save each week. So first we need to look at how much Mary saves each week. So Mary gets $8 and spends $2. So she has eight dollars at the beginning and then since she spends two dollars that's a minus two and then how much money does David spend each week and each week David gets five dollars and spends two dollars so he earns five and he spends two so that's five minus two how much money do Mary and David save together each week? So together they save 8 minus 2 dollars plus 5 minus 2 dollars. Then step two says, write an expression to represent how many weeks it will take Mary and David to save enough money for the video game. So it says, how many weeks will it take Mary and David to save enough for a video game? And so we have to think about that. And let's look at the little blue letters there. It says, I can use brackets to group operations a second time. 45 is divided by the total amount of money saved each week. So we want to take 45 because that's how much the video game is. We'll put a little box around that. And we're going to divide that by the amount of money they save each week, which is the eight minus two dollars plus the five dollars minus two dollars. So we already know that we do what's in parentheses first and then brackets mean you do what's in them next. So with grouping symbols you should always work from the inside out. So you do what's closest to the inside first and then you work your way out. So now let's move on to the next page 
and we're going to do the next example. So it says to evaluate expressions with grouping symbols. When evaluating expression with different grouping symbols, parentheses, brackets, and braces, perform the operation in the innermost set of grouping symbols, first evaluating the expression from the inside out. I think that's what I explained to you on the last slide. So you should probably take a minute and pause and write that in your notes. So I'm going to put a little mark on it here for you and tell you to write in notebook. So write this down. Write this. Because that's really important. And this is one of those things that you are going to have those grouping symbols in math for a long, long time, so you need to be sure you understand this. So let's look at the example. John gets $6 for his weekly allowance and spends $4 of it. His sister Tina gets $7 for her weekly allowance and spends $3 of it. Their mother's birthday is in four weeks. If they spend the same amount each week, how much money can they save together in that time to buy her a present? So let's follow the directions here. We write the expression using parentheses and brackets. So this is John's money on the left. He has $6 minus $4. And then Tina's money is on the right. This is John's money. And this is Tina's money. She has $7, but she spends three of it. And they have four weeks to save. So it's four times all their savings. So we're going to perform the operations in the parentheses first. So 6 minus 4 equals 2. And 7 minus 3 equals and then we perform the operations in the brackets. So first we did the parentheses, now we're doing the brackets. So 2 plus 4 equals 6, and then we multiply. So we do the operation on the outside of the brackets. 4 times 6 equals 24. So John and Tina will be able to save $24.00 for their mother's birthday present. I want you to come to school tomorrow with an answer to this question. What if only Tina saves any money? Will this change the numerical expression? And explain your answer. So just write your answer right here so that you are prepared to share with one of your classmates. When you are sure you understand the lesson, return to your teacher's webpage and complete the exit slip. This is how you get credit for viewing the lesson.